Hi, my name is Glenn Beatty, U.S. Life Master. In this video, we will look at a game by International Master Aladapo Adu versus Timothy Hamilton. This game is a Sicilian defense night draft variation. We will start a series of videos on the Sicilian night draft. This series of videos will explore understanding the true meaning behind blacks and whites typical setup in this defense. We will first concentrate on understanding sidelines by black. What makes these moves sidelines and how to gain an advantage with white? Timothy played a6, number 5, followed by 8, knight to c6. This is not a common setup for black. Let's see how a dude responded. Knight to f3, a flexible move. If black had played d5, would white counter with a ready? Maybe a dude wasn't sure what system he wanted to play, or maybe he wanted to determine black's character. If d5 by black a positional player, if c5 a tactical player, c5 okay, this guy wants a fight. Probably the sharpest line against the Nadroff. White threatens to double black's pawns. White also prepares to castle queen side by developing his dark square bishop. The move f4 is controlling e5. Also, f4 starts white's aggressive intentions on the king side. But white can't win the pen knight because of a tactic black has at his disposal. Bishop to e7. If b5 and white trying to win the knight, black have queen to c7. Queen takes g5 and black is okay in this position. Let's go back to the game. Black played the solid choice. Bishop to e7. He develops a piece and breaks the pin, lining his dark square bishop up with white's bishop. He consolidates his position, enabling him to fight for control of e5. This is not a common move. Black is probably mixing up his openings or he might wanted to transpose into a classical Sicilian. Knight to c6 is a classical Richard Rouser variation ECO d64. I'm not sure that this move is good for black in this position because white's queen is on f3 instead of d2. Also, black played e a6 early on f3 white's queen can work with his bishop that will travel to d3 also the queen is a better place piece on f3 because she can transfer it over to black king side easier castle Black also can play queen to c7 instead of knight to c6. Knight takes e5. This is a problem with knight to c6. White can always get an e5.
forking and winning. Let's go back to the game. In the game, Timothy played knight to c6 instead of the queen to c7 analysis. A new castle. Queen to b6. Forcing a new knight out of the center. A new played knight to b3. Which is a good move. Keeping material on the board. This is good because Black must waste time to reposition his queen if he wants to play for counterplay on the queen side with d5. Let's look at knight takes c6 instead of knight b3. This is probably the critical line. White will try immediately to punish Black for, allow for allowing the space gaining move e5. White's attack is quick and powerful. Black doesn't have time to pressure the half open b5. It just takes too long. Black must play rook to b8 with the idea of a5, a4. White might just have a big plus in this position. Let's take a look. If queen takes, he can also play b takes. Checkmate. Let's go back to the game. This is this is analysis. He played queen takes c6. Let's look at this. Queen to g3, threatening the move e5. Winning. Queen takes e7. Rook to d8. Check. But Adu played knight to b3, which is good also. Let's look at this. Getting ready to push his king side pawns and repositioning his bishop. Maybe White should play g4 instead. This might save a tempo because White played bishop to d3 and then exchange on c4. This is played in the game, bishop to d3. This bishop seems to be misplaced. It's taking a square from black's knight.
breaking in the center. He can also try G6. Maybe this move is better to give the knight a square to travel to. Also, if white elects to continue with pushing his king's out pawns with h4, black can counter with h5. But in the game, he played e, he played d5. Threatening to win material with g5. Giving up d5. Maybe black should try knight to d5 instead. Giving the pawn back if knight takes. He can also play knight takes e4. And black seems to be okay in this position. Let's go back. Let's look at knight takes e4 again. Another variation. Knight takes bishop to g3. Instead of bishop to g3, white can play knight to d6 check. Black needs to activate his rook on h8, a complicated position. Maybe black is just winning, maybe not. This is beyond the scope of our video. Let's go back. So after knight to d5, let's say that white captures on d5. And black looks okay once again. If rook. Black seems to be holding his own. He is the exchange up. Although his king is in the center. Let's go back to the game. In the game, Timothy played e5 instead of knight to d5. A dude brought the rook back. This just might be a blunder because a dude find this move and now two pieces are in pre. Trying to gain counterplay but a dude just captured Bishop is hanging, and now the rook is hanging. Black is forced to throw in the towel. A great game by Adu. He outplayed Black in a complicated middle game of the Sicilian defense. Good luck. Good chess. Cheers.